Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Lady Survival here. Today it is Christmas day, so happy Winter Vale, Merry Christmas, whatever you celebrate. Today we are here with another World of Warcraft cookbook recipe, and today I'm doing something that I've been looking forward to for years, months, really long time. We're gonna be making the Westfall Stew. For those of you who don't know, I'm a huge World of Warcraft classic fan, and Westfall is one of my favorite zones that brings back so much nostalgia for me, and the Westfall Stew quest is just such an iconic World of Warcraft quest and I'm so excited to be here and making it with you guys today for Christmas dinner. So yesterday on Christmas Eve I went to the store to pick up all of the ingredients for it and it cost me like $50 so I'm really hoping that it's going to be super super yummy. Let's start with listing off all of the ingredients so that you'll know everything that we need in the Westfall stew. Two pounds quality stew beef, salt and pepper, half a cup of diced bacon, two tablespoons of butter, one pound of button mushrooms, one and a half cups of peeled pearl onions, one tablespoon brown sugar, quarter cup of flour, four cups of beef broth, two cups of red wine, one teaspoon northern spices, six carrots, one garlic head, one cup of pearl barley, two bay leaves, and one tablespoon of fresh parsley. So this is obviously my first time making this stew and I haven't even started prepping anything so let's just jump into it. The very first step is to preheat the oven to 375. We toss the beef with salt and allow it to sit at room temperature for 30 minutes. I got two like roughly one pound things to make up two pounds of already pre-cut uh, stewing beef. So we're just gonna go ahead, I've already washed my hands and we're just gonna throw them into this bowl and toss them with some salt. Um, it doesn't look like it says how much salt, so I'm just going to take a guess with it. First half in, let's add the next one. I'm just gonna be using just normal salt and I'm just going to add some on. I'm really not sure how much. And I'm just gonna use my hands because I feel like that's probably the best, easiest way to <laughs> toss it around. Here's our beef and it says that it can sit for 30 minutes at room temperature so we will just set it aside. The next step is to scatter the bacon in a 9 by 12 inch baking pan with tall sides. I'm just going to be using this roasting pan um, because I'm just going to kind of put everything in here. I think that this recipe kind of wanted us to use like two different baking pans and then like put everything into something else but I feel like it'll be so much easier to just use this roasting pan so we're gonna be cutting up some bacon we need half a cup so I'm gonna cut some of this up until we have enough for that and put it into here to cook for 15 minutes with a tablespoon of butter also you guys check this out I just ordered these on Amazon so I could have little purple uh, measuring cups and little teaspoons so I'm gonna use this and I guess I'll just uh, cut up bacon until we have half a cup worth. We are gonna use my biggest knife for this because why not? I also want you guys to know I'm definitely not a professional, which I'm hoping is more like easy for a lot of you guys to follow along if any of you want to make these World of Warcraft uh, cookbook recipes because I'm just a random girl. I don't know what I'm doing. So I know that there's a lot of you out there who probably also don't know what you're doing. We got a couple strips of bacon out and we'll just cut it and see how much we get. <laughs> for reference, here is some of my bacon pieces. I just kind of cut them up into whatever size I felt like was right. And we're just gonna load it into our little measuring cup to hopefully see if they're all like sticking together. I'm gonna say that that's good. It might be a little bit more, but why would you not want more bacon? So it's fine. We're gonna be adding the bacon into the roasting pan, but we also need a tablespoon of butter. So I'm gonna cut that off and I think I'm gonna melt it in the microwave so I can like evenly pour it just so that it's already like even. While that is in the microwave, I'm going to start placing the bacon around because a lot of them are like stuck together. So let's try to kind of evenly put them everywhere. I'm also having to wash my hands like a million times. Like every time I have to handle the meat and then touch something else, it's like, oh, I gotta wash my hands again. It's just like forever. I'm trying to kind of show you guys this. So I'm just going to pour some melted butter around sure it all gets out here and then of course the bacon should make like its own grease as well I think later we're gonna be adding some flour to make a roux and thicken it up nice okay so we're gonna put this in for 15 minutes the next step 
I hope I can do it in time. I have to cut the carrots and peel the skins off of the pearled onions while this is cooking and we'll just see how that goes but we're gonna throw this in and then I'm quickly gonna wash my cutting board so I can do vegetables and stuff on it now too. So we have six carrots that I now need to peel and wash and slice and then we also have some white pearl onions and I'm really excited to use these because I've never tried them before and I think that these are supposed to kind of replicate the murloc eyes in the stew so I'm excited. Got our six carrots diced up. I have like three minutes left and I still have to peel all the skins off of the pearled onions and do the mushrooms. So we're gonna be a little bit late, but I'm getting my husband to help me with the onions while I work on the mushrooms and everything, and then I'll go help him. For the mushrooms, it says to have one pound of them, but I only got eight ounces, which is half a pound because I don't really like mushrooms that much anyways and I just didn't feel like buying two. So there's gonna be slightly less mushrooms than what it calls for. So I've never even cooked with mushrooms. I don't really know how to cut them or if I'm supposed to wash them. So we're just gonna see what happens. A little bit of a hiccup I pulled out the bacon and turns out it was completely burnt like totally black I have no idea why that happened um, I'm guessing that my oven might just get a little bit too hot so yeah that was an adventure I had to pull it out scoop out all the burnt bacon and drain the fat and wash this and now we're gonna be putting it back in starting all over and I'm just gonna keep an eye on it because that was way too hot I don't know what happened Here's an update on where we are at. I have my carrots in a bowl and my mushrooms prepared. I still have like five or six more mushrooms to cut up. I took a break from cutting them to cut up my new half a cup of bacon and I'm gonna put this back in with the butter and throw it in just for like five to 10 minutes and see how it goes. Things are getting a little hectic in here in terms of timing. Um, I have to mix the flour in with the bacon and like the melted fat and butter, um, but I also have to do something else, so that's gonna have to wait. So I don't know if it's gonna dry out. So definitely have better prep stuff going on than me. But anyways, we got all of our mushrooms and we're gonna put that in here because we're gonna be mixing it with all of our one and a half cups of pearled Onions, and then we're gonna mix that with our pearled onions, which my husband peeled all of them. It took him forever to do. In with that, we're gonna add a tablespoon of melted butter. I'm gonna kind of throw them in here to make sure we get it all. Okay. And we're also gonna need a tablespoon of brown sugar as well. Okay, and then just stir that around. And we're just gonna put that right in here. All right, so I am back with another update. Here is the onions and the mushrooms. They are cooked and now I'm supposed to put them aside and it's time to actually like assemble the stew and put everything in so it can go into the oven for a while. Again, the timing's not perfect. It's kind of hard to film and do this for the first time, um, but I already mixed the flour into here so we kind of got our roux going on. First thing we're gonna do is add in our beef broth. Uh, this is four cups of beef broth and it says to just whisk it in slowly. I guess we'll give it a shake because why not? Got this weird little baby whisk, but it should hopefully work. So we're gonna add this in and start to whisk it around. So we got the beef broth in there and now for the fun part, you guys, I've literally 
never bought wine before and I got to buy a bottle of red wine. I got this one. It's called Apothic Red. Um, I thought it looked cool. Very gothic and nice. Um, I don't even drink wine so I don't even know what this tastes like and I don't know how to open it. I don't know if I like need something special. Is there something that I'm supposed to know? Does this whole thing come off? Dear God. Babe. <laughs> I might need help. All right, we gotta start. I don't know if there's like a cork in this or not. Does wine have a cork or is that like champagne? All right, oh, it does have a cork. Holy fuck, what do we do? <laughs> what do we do? How do you get a cork out? A cork. What do we do? Is there like a way to, to get it out? We're gonna look. Again, little bit of a detour, but we got there. I looked up on Google how to remove it without a cork thing. And my husband put a screw into the cap and then used the back of a hammer to pull it up and it worked. So got some wine. I don't know if I should like drink some. Is it weird to drink straight from the bottle? I think I'm going to. I don't like wine. I've tried a sip of my parents before. I'm not a fan, but I think that you're supposed to like have a sip of it, you know? So let's try that. Oh, okay, no. That's still, no. Anyways, you're supposed to have two cups ugh, of red wine in here, but I think I recall seeing a comment somewhere that two cups of red wine was too much. So I'm just gonna put slightly less. Um, right now it says to just add one cup, so just half of the amount. So I got my one cup and I'm just going to, the pouring sound, I'm just gonna add like almost a cup, but not quite. A cup see that it's like almost to the top but not quite and we're just gonna add that in got our wine in there we're just gonna whisk it around I've literally had this out for so long that it's just like not even hot like I can just completely handle it and then the next part we get to use our northern spices for anyone who's new I already did a video on how to make the spices from the world of warcraft cookbook so we're gonna go ahead and get to use them for the first time. It calls for uh, one teaspoon of them. I think I'm gonna shake it, make sure it's all distributed good in here. We got our one teaspoon and we're just gonna throw that around. I'm so excited to use it. I'm just gonna get a teeny bit more because I feel like it wasn't quite full to the top. The next step is to put our carrots in. So I'm just gonna place them in with my hands and make sure they're evenly kind of distributed. All right, and then I've got my garlic. I don't think that I was supposed to cut them, but I did because I didn't want huge chunks in there. So we'll just kind of distribute that in here as well. And we'll also do our one cup of pearled barley. I'm doing slightly under a cup because I also heard that um, it can kind of soak up a little bit too much of the liquid, so we'll just go slightly under. We're definitely getting there. The last thing is to add the beef in and then it can go into the oven. So I guess I'll just kind of randomly place these around then just kind of uh, make sure that they're all submerged and then we also have to add a bit of water to cover the meat entirely Oh my gosh, you guys, we're about to put it in. Check it out, Westfall stew. I am so excited. It has to go in for like two hours. We have our oven down to 325. Let's put it in. So it is in there. I'm gonna put on my timer for, it says an hour and a half to two hours. So I'll probably just do an hour and a half, check it, and then it says I'm just supposed to stir it and then put it back in for another hour. So we'll see how it is then. And I really have to clean up the kitchen. I made such a mess. You guys, I'm back. I just realized that I forgot to put in the bay leaves, which is like 
One of the steps that I was super excited for because they're just so cute and I've never had bay leaves. Look at this. I bought a little thing of bay leaves. Uh, let's put two of them in. It's just been in for like five or ten minutes. Um, I want a cute one. One bay leaf, two bay leaves, and I think I'll do one more because they're really small, I feel like. So let's do three bay leaves. Submerge them in there a little bit. Oh my god. I can't believe I almost forgot them and I had to show you guys. There's no way. It has now been about an hour and a half and we're just here to add in uh, the one more cup of wine and I also just wanna stir it, give you a close up of it here. So this is what it's looking like. I feel like it looks really good so far. Look at that. And it hasn't sucked up too much liquid, which is nice. So we're gonna add in our extra cup of wine. Again, I'm just gonna use a little bit under one cup. Add that in. Now we're also gonna add in the pearl onions and the mushrooms. And we're at the final step, 30 more minutes, and then I'll be able to test the stew, and I'm so excited to taste it for the first time and see my reaction. I can't believe it, the stew is finally done. Look at that, that's like thumbnail worthy. You guys will probably see this on the thumbnail. The Westfall stew, it smells so good. Oh my god, I'm so excited to try this. Check it out. So we got our bowls. I'm gonna get this in a bowl. Let me get a close-up shot for you guys. So here is my bowl of stew. I'm so excited. I think it turned out really good. Like there's still, you know, like there's still some liquid in there. Oh my gosh, it looks so hearty. I can't wait to try it. It smells so good. It smells like fall and it also definitely smells like, not like the wine, but you can tell that it's in there and it's just so unlike any Thing that I've ever made like I've never really done something this fancy oh my gosh your little bay leaf I gotta still pull those out of there all right so I haven't tried it at all and usually when I make food I like test it kind of halfway through so when I pulled it out to stir it and add the mushrooms and the um, onions I was like oh I want to taste it so bad but I didn't taste it at all yet so we're gonna get the true first impressions here. Here, let me try to show you guys. Let's get a carrot and a piece of meat and a mushroom and then a little bit of some other stuff. Oh my gosh, look at that. The first bite, I don't know how hot it is. I'm so excited, my first Westfall stew. I don't wanna burn myself, I'm really scared. <laughs> Oh my god. It's so good. Oh my god. It's so yummy. I can't believe it tastes like I'm eating like a fantasy meal, you know, like from the tavern. Like it just feels very like Lord of the Rings, World of Warcraft, you know? Oh my gosh. I didn't even get an onion yet. Let me have an onion. I feel like the little onions are like our murloc eyes, so let's try one. That is so good. I wish that you guys could come over right now and all try some of this. Oh my God, there's a piece of bacon. Let's see. Mmm. Oh my God, it's so good. I'm so excited. I feel like we're gonna eat all of this by like tomorrow and I'm just gonna want it all again. But I feel like it was really hard to make. I mean, I wouldn't say it was hard to make, but I was just really disorganized. And in the future, tips that I would give if you're going to make it, 
pre-prepare all of your stuff, like pre-peel and cut the carrots and cut the mushrooms and peel the pearled onions because that took forever. That took my husband like 30 minutes to do and I needed his help. There's no way I could have done it alone. So if you make this, I would pre have everything prepped and just ready to go in like a bowl so that you can just like add it in and just go for it would make it so much easier. Of course, also filming a YouTube video does make it a little harder. So I was probably extra like, ah, but it's not too bad. It's not too hard to make. I'll definitely leave the recipe down below for you guys so you can do it. Let me know if you've ever done the West Fall stew before and what you thought of it. And how did yours turn out compared to mine? Like, did yours look similar to mine? I feel like it turned out pretty good. Um, like I saw some other pictures online and like other videos of people making it and I feel like mine looks pretty good. Not too dry, there's definitely some liquid in there. I feel like this is just gonna become like a just watch me eat video because I don't want to stop and I don't want to turn off my camera. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and liked cooking with me. It's like 10 15 p.m. so it's like super late at night that we're finally eating this but again I hope you all have a super good Christmas and happy Wintervale. Uh, let me know what you did today and how your Christmas was and hopefully I can get this up relatively soon not too long after christmas but it'll take me a little bit to edit but anyways i love you guys i hope that you have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one bye okay i got my husband here to try it he doesn't like mushrooms so we're gonna see how he feels about it but i think that it's super super good so i like the merlot guys i know right they're the best mm -hmm. It's good. Mm hmm What does it taste like to you? Like, does it taste mushroomy? No. I feel like it's pretty baller. Like, it tastes like a stew from, from like, Lord of the Rings. Mm-hmm. You know? I like it. Mm-hmm.